Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2019. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be using VirtualBox to show you how to install it, but if you're installing it onto a physical machine, the process will be much the same. You'll just need to burn uh, your, your image onto a DVD and put that into your machine or onto a USB. So just before we get started, it looks like Microsoft have pulled a lot of the evaluation ones from the website as there's some bug in Server 2019. But if you're still looking just to have a look at it, um, you can still pull down the Server 2019 ISO if you have the direct link. So I use this link here to pull down the ISO and what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll leave that below where you can um, just copy and paste that to download the ISO. And just for full disclosure, I got it from medium.com. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link to where you can get this and with that, let's get started. So let me minimize this here and I'm just going to go to VirtualBox. So um, if you don't have VirtualBox, pretty much it's just a hypervisor that allows you to run virtual machines. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get ready to install Server 2019. So I'm going to call this Server 2019. I'm just going to select other windows. I'm going to give it roughly two gigs of RAM. I want to click create here. I'm going to give it a 20 gig hard drive, that's enough here purely for this test. So I'm going to right click on server 2019, click settings, and I'm going to go to storage. I'm going to click on the empty one here. I'm going to click this little CD uh, option here, and I have my ISO file here. So let me select that. I'll click OK, and then I'll click to start. And hopefully now we can see the machine booting up for us now in a second. So let me pull this across here so you guys can see it. So from now on, the steps will be pretty much the exact same. If you're using a physical machine, just put your DVD into the machine and allow it to boot. So we can see here, this is looking good. We can see it's beginning to boot for us here, which is great. So hopefully now in a minute, we'll just be able to select what we need. Cool, so we have Windows Server 2019. I'm gonna leave all these as the defaults because I'm just purely doing this for a test. I'm gonna click next. I'll click install now. So this might just take a second here. So let me just pause the video while we're waiting for this to catch up. Okay, so we're being prompted here for what we want to put in. And just kind of important, I want the desktop experience. So I want to see the desktop and the GUI. So I'm gonna click next. And hopefully now, yeah, we're just going to accept the license agreements here. That's fine. I'm just gonna click custom. I'm just gonna make sure, yeah, we have my 20 gig drive. I'll click next. And that's it. it, it started installing Windows for us here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back here when uh, Server 2019 has installed. Okay, so we're back here and this is looking very positive. So I'm now being prompted for a password for my administrator account. So let me just pop something in here now. And let me click finish. Cool, so it looks like it's finalizing our settings here. Cool, and this looks great. It looks like we're in so let me just insert and control alt delete here and hopefully we should be able to log in now cool so this looks good so it looks like this is going to load up so that was a very quick video on how to install server 2019 and um, i'll leave the relevant links and a full um full text tutorial below and if you did find this useful please do like and subscribe and our desktop is now booted up. So thank you for watching and um, if you have any comments please do comment below. Thank you.